same thing has been also given in the 21st verse also a person who is forgetful who is into the materialistic activities sashana nashani sashana nashani is again again to come in this world sashana means activities of lording it over anashani means activities in devotional service now two activities have been given sashana 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 means trying to lord it over. Anashana, anashana means becoming servant of Krishna. You should understand this word. Anashana means devotional service. Sashana means activities in, of lording it over. Because of this, Vichakrame, the destination has been described. Where will this living entity reside? Whether in the spiritual world or in the eternal world. So, avidya is the science, vidya is factual knowledge. The Lord is the master. He is the master of both the science as well as the knowledge. He is the master. He is the Swami, he is the master. Ashreha means he is the supreme. Even if a person has taken the shelter of this material world, because of, this material world is compared to the science, but the master of this science is also Krishna. When the conditioned soul comes to this knowledge, and automatically this world is no more the material world. He he is in the eternal world, though being in this in the material world. The two second canto, sixth chapter, twenty-second verse. Yasmad andam virad jagye bhute indriya gunatmaka ham tadrayam tadrayam atyagad vishvam. Gobhi Surya Ivatva Ivatapan Yasma Dandam Vira Dyagye Bhutendriya Gunatmakaha Tadravyam Atyagad Vishwam Gobhi Surya Ivatapan Now Yasma means from whom? Andam. All these universal globes. Virata, the gigantic universal form. Jagge appear. Bhuta, Bhuta elements in the senses. Guna atmakaha, Guna atmakaha qualitative. Tadravyam, Tadravyam, the universes and the universal form, etc. Atyagat, surpassed. Vishwam, all the universes. Gobihi, by the rays. Surya, the sun. Iva, life. Atapan, Atapan. Atapan means distributed, rays and heat. Translation is from that spirit personality of Godhead. All the universal globes, that is Arandam, and the universal form with all the metal elements. There is a Virata Bhutaha Indriya. Qualities and senses are generated. That is Indriya, Purnatmakaha. Everything is generated from him. But still, he is aloof from such material manifestations like the sun, which is separate from its rays and heat. 
And like the example is given. Is given. Like the sun is separate from its rays and heat. Ananda chinmaya rasa pratibha vitavis. Tabhirya eva ni jarupa taya kalavi. Goloka eva ni vasatya kilatva bhutav. Govindam adi purusham tamaham pachami. So he is enlivening everyone. But he is in his support. Goloka. He is present in every nook and corner, but still he is present in his spiritual world. Now, sun is present through its rays in this material world, yet sun globe is different. The same way Lord is present by his opulence, Vibhuti Shakti. Tenth chapter describes about his Vibhuti Shakti. Even in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, I create everything, but I am not there in anything. That means he remains aloof from his creation. And that should be the quality of the authorities also. Now, sun is an authority. Sun gives a race. Sun gives its power. Yet he remains aloof. No asakti. In the same way, the authority is supposed to give the services to everyone. Yet remains aloof. No attachment to anyone. Like the government is run by the by the prime minister, president. They are present through their administration, Shashan. They are present through their administration. Yet they are aloof. So if this is there, then free will is given, whether to take it or not. That is how Krishna gives a free will. Now sun gives a race but allows the people to choose whether to accept the rays or close the eyes or close your curtain. So administration is done in this way. Whoever is an authority in the administration, he should allow the free will whether to accept or not. You cannot just bind and you cannot just beat a person. You cannot do that. Like government has given the free will to accept cigarette or reject the cigarette. Giving a warning. So this is how the sashan is done. This is how the parents also grow up the children. They are, they are there for their care. At the same time, they are aloof. Aloof with their freedom. When you say aloof means Krishna remains aloof to allow the souls to accept or to reject. Whether to take it sashana, that means try to lord it over the material nature, or asana. That means whether you accept or whether you reject. That free will Krishna has given. Anashane. Anashane means whether you uh, take my shelter or whether you don't take my shelter. But I am always there. Even this material world is Krishna's energy. Krishna is only providing but allowing the people to even reject him also. How many people criticize Krishna? So many. We are bothered our, about our criticism but even Lord is not away from criticism. Even people are criticizing him also so much. But Krishna allows. And that is how the temple is run. Even the temple, your, your whole administration, your world, everything is run by this free will. It's not that you have to accept. If you don't accept, I will, I will just shoot you. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. So here also the same thing. Lord is giving at the same time he is remaining aloof. Sun is providing but sun is remaining aloof. Deep meanings are there for these verses. So here free will of the soul has been given. If you see just read like that you will not understand where is the free will. The free will is by understanding the sun's example. The free will has been given by God. Because the previous verse speaks about how to connect this. How we should understand about the free will has been given. The previous bill, previous verse speaks about Sashana. Sashana. Anashani. What has been given? Ube. Both. Krishna is Ashani. So Sashana means lording it over conditioned souls. Anashana. Ana. Anashani means one who takes shelter. So now Krishna creates, Krishna allows the jivas to act to their choice, whatever their desire. In this way, Krishna remains aloof. When you say aloof means what? Krishna is not present here, Krishna is present. 
he remains aloof from the choice of the people this is very important aspect to be understood he remains aloof he is not not present here lord is present as archa vigra so when you say aloof means what his power is there he is present he is aloof from the choice of the people anashane or sashane do whatever you desire in but both the places whether you accept or whether you don't accept you have taken my ashraya ashraya of my supremacy ashraya of my opulence okay bindu mata ji ji a beautiful verse is actually that's okay one minute this is from tato virad jayata virajo adhi purushah sajato atyarichyata pascha bhumi matho purah this is purushukta read hare krishna mata ji pranam yasmad andam virajadhe bhutendriya gunatmakah तद्रव्यम विश्वम सूर्य ट्रांसलेशन फ्रॉम दैट पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड ऑल द यूनिवर्सल ग्लोब्स एंड द यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म विथ ऑल मेटीरियल एलिमेंट्स क्वालिटीज एंड सेंसेस आर जनरेटेड येट ही इज अलूफ फ्रॉम सच मेटीरियल मैनिफेस्टेशन लाइक द सन विच इज सपरेट फ्रॉम इट्स रे एंड हीट पर्पट the supreme truth has been ascertained in the previous verse as purusha or the purushottama the supreme person the absolute truth the absolute person is the ishvara or the supreme controller by his different energies the ek ekapar vibhuti manifestation of the material energy of the lord is just like one of the many mistresses of the lord by whom the lord is not so much attracted as indicated in the language of the gita bhinna prakritihi but the region of the tripad vibhuti being a pure spiritual manifestation of the energy of the lord is so to speak more attractive to him the lord therefore generates the material manifestations by impregnating the material energy and then within the manifestation he expands himself as the gigantic form of the vishvarupa the vishvarupa as it was shown by to arjuna is not the original form of the lord the original form of the lord is transcendental form of purushottama or krishna himself it is very nicely explained here in that he expands himself just like the sun the sun expands itself by its terrible heat and rays yet the sun is always aloof from such rays and heat the impersonalist takes into consideration the rays of the lord without any information of the tangible transcendental eternal form of the lord known as krishna therefore krishna is in his supreme personal form with two hands and flute is bewildering for the per impersonalist who can accommodate only the gigantic vishvarupa of the lord they should know that the rays of the sun are secondary to the sun and similarly the impersonal gigantic form of the lord is also secondary to the personal form as purushottama the brahma samhita 5.37 confirms this statement as follows ananda chinmaya rasa pratibha ोलोका he is present in every nook and corner of his creation by expansion of happy spiritual rays equal in power to his personal potency of bliss he is therefore simultaneously personal and impersonal by his inconceivable potency or he is the one without a second displaying complete unity 
in a diversity of material and spiritual manifestations. He is separate from everything, yet still nothing is different from him. Hare Krishna Mataji. He is separate from everything, yet nothing is different from him. Achintya Bheda, Abheda Tattva. Achintya Bheda Bheda. Everything belongs to him, yet he is separate. Achintya Bheda. There is difference. At the same time, there is oneness. Yadasya nabhyan nalina nadahama sammahatmana navidam yajya sambharan purusha vayava nurte Yadasya nabhyan nalina ahama sammahatmana navidam yajya sambharan Urushavayavandrati at the same time as Yaha Nabayat from his abdomen Narina from the lotus flower Aham now Brahmaji is saying Aham I Asam took play took my birth Maha Maha of the great person Navidam did not know Yadke Sambharan So sacrificial ingredients Purushaha of the Lord, Anvayan, personal body limbs, Rute, etc. So when I was born from the abdominal lotus flower of the Lord, Mahavishnu, the great person, I had no ingredients for sacrificial performances except the body limbs of the great personality of God. You see, this is also very important to us. Body limbs of Lord is there. But other ingredients I was not having. The Lord Brahma is known as Swayam. He says, everything was there with me. Lord's limbs are there. Actually, by using the Lord's limbs only, this verse is actually connected. 23 is connected to 24, 26. So I, when I appeared, I could not see any other ingredients. I only could see the limbs of the Lord. If Lord is everywhere, then how can I serve him with a method to attaining him since there is no differentiation of the articles, materials, articles of worship and even his worshippers. That is true. Because it is necessary to worship him and because there is nothing except him, one should, one should perform worship of him with articles which are also him. Just as one worships earth with scent and flowers made of earth, his order alone is authority. To show this, he gives himself an example. When I appeared from the lotus navel, lotus in his navel, there were no ingredients for sacrifice. So here, what is being asked, the question first is asked is, why am I worshipping him with the ingredients which is actually belonging to him? So example is given. When you are worshipping the earth, you are worshipping with the flower. That flower is also belonging to earth. When you worship sun, how you worship sun? You offer water. It is a sun who is a cause of water. Isn't it? So you are offering with the things belonging to that person only. But that is required. Why it is required? To show that everything belongs to him. Isha Vasim, Idam Saram. Everything belongs to him. That is why you are worshipping him with the same ingredients belonging to him. I am not able to see those ingredients. So I'm not able to worship Lord. I'm only able to see the limbs of the Lord. The question can come. Why you want the ingredients? The ingredients also belongs to Krishna. Yes, everything belongs to Krishna. With those things only I can worship Lord. Okay, Gyandi Prabhu, please read. Hare Krishna Mataji, Dhanavad Pranam. Yadasya nabhyan nalina dah masam mahatmana navidam yagya sambharan Translation. When I was born from the abdominal lotus flower of the Lord, Mahavishnu, the great person, I had no ingredients for a sacrificial performance except the bodily limbs of the great personality of Lord. Parapadvai Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Lord Brahma, the creator of cosmic manifestation, is known as Swayambhu or one who is born without father and mother. The general process is that a living creature is born out of the sex combination of male father and the female mother. 
but brahma the first born living being is born out of the abdominal lotus flower of mahavishnu plenary expansion of lord krishna the abdominal lotus flower is part of the lord's bodily limbs and brahma is born out of the lotus flower therefore lord brahma is also a part of the lord's body brahma after his appearance in the gigantic hollow of the universe saw darkness and nothing else he felt perplexity perplexity and from his heart he was inspired by the lord to undergo austerity thereby acquiring the ingredients for sacrificial performance but there was nothing beside the two of them namely the personality of mahavishnu and brahma himself born of the bodily part of the lord for sacrificial performance many ingredients were in need especially animals the animal sacrifice is never meant for killing the animal but for achieving the successful result of the sacrifice the animal offered in the sacrificial fire is so to speak destroyed but the next moment it is given a new life by dint of the vedic hymns chanted by the expert priest when such an expert priest is not available the animal sacrifice in the fire of the sacrificial altar is forbidden thus brahma created even the sacrificial ingredients out of the body limbs of the garbhodaksha vishnu which means that the cosmic order was created by brahma himself also nothing is created out of nothing but everything is created from the person of lord the lord says in bhagavad gita 10.8 aham sarvasya prabhu va tah sarvam parvarte everything is made from my body limbs and i am therefore the original source of all creations the impersonalities impersonalist impersonalists argue that there is no one no use in worshiping the lord when everything is nothing but lord himself the personalist personalist how however worship the lord out of the great sense of gratitude utilizing the ingredients born out of the bodily limbs of the lord the fruits and flowers are available from the body of the earth and yet mother earth is worshiped by the sensible devotee with ingredients from born from the earth similarly mother Gang- ganges is worshiped by the water of the ganges and yet the worshiper enjoys the result of such worship worship of the lord is also performed by the ingredients from born from the bodily limbs of the lord and yet the worshiper who is himself a part of the lord achieves the result of devotional service of to the lord while the impersonalist wrongly concludes that he is the lord himself the personalist out of a great gratitude worships the lord in devotional service knowing perfectly well that nothing is dif- different from the lord the devotee therefore endeavors to apply everything in the service of the lord because he knows that everything is the property of the lord and that no one can claim anything as one's own this perfect conception of oneness helps the worshiper in being engaged in his loving service whereas the impersonalist being falsely puffed up remains a non devotee forever without being recognized by the lord thank you mataji hari krishna so everything is created by lord at the same time krishna says i remain aloof chaturvarna maya srishtam guna karma vibhag tasa kartaram api ma vidya kartaram api i am not responsible everything i am only giving everything belongs to krishna there is not a thing which is not belonging to krishna or not there is why his name is vishnu vishite vishati iti sarvatra vishnu he is present in everything so what we are giving is actually krishna only we are pro- providing ghee in the sacrifice that is krishna we are providing flower in the sacrifice that is krishna that means everything is krishna there is a nice statement which has been put nothing comes up of nothing hmm nothing is created out of nothing there are some people speaking like this nothing comes out of nothing everything is shunya the shunyavadi principle people talk like this everything is shunya from shunya what shunya will come nothing is created out of nothing but everything is created from lord yes matter cannot create matter matter cannot create matter flower cannot be created by somebody else so we should understand nothing is created out of nothing refers to nothing is created out of matter it is only sub creation original creation everything is krishna 
like chapati is created by the ingredients given by krishna so you cannot say i have created chapati you know it's just a sub creation why brahma ji is saying this brahma ji is saying that i did not find anything i was searching now i am searching that means i have not created anything very important words i have not created anything that is why i could not find anything now i am searching that means everything belongs to krishna i am just giving it to krishna in many different different forms i am just offering to krishna his only ingredients who is not different from him and i only give it to krishna i am just giving it to krishna in various forms for 24 25 and 26 that has been taken together actually by shila vishnu chakravarti thakur ha huh. Again, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six runs to another four verses: twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Let us see. Teshu yagya se pashavah savanas pataya kusha idam chadev yagyanam kalas chur gunan vita. So, for the sacrifice, you require sacrificial ingredients. What are the sacrificial ingredients you require? Sometimes animals, pashavah, savanas pataya, flowers, leaves, pusha straw, all these things are required. Along with what sacrificial altar, deva yagyam, time is also required. Kala, you see, time is also Krishna. Everything is Krishna. Kala, guna anvita, and a suitable person, qualified person. That is, he is also required. Qualified person is not there. Then who will perform the sacrifice? So when the puja is done, all these things are required. Then must unyo shada yaha sneha rasalo ham rudo jalam huricho yajum shi samani chaturho hotram sa sattama. Then you require utensils also. Aushade, aushade. You require grains. Sneha, the sneha, that is ghee, clarified butter, rasaloha, mudha, honey, gold, earth, jalam, water is required. Rucha, digved is also required. Ejam sish, ejurved is required. Samaved is required. Samani, chaturhutram, four persons conducting the performance are required. Four priests are required. So all these sattama, oh most pious one. So Narada, all these ingredients are required. So for to perform a sacrificial successfully, at least four expert priests are required. One can offer hota. One can chant udgata. One can kindle the fire. Adharva ad ad adavadhyu. One can supervise. That is Brahma. Then, twenty-six words. Namadeyani mantrascha dakshine dakshinascha vrtani cha devatanu krama kalpa sankalpa sankalpa stantra meva cha. So other necessities are also required. Namadeyani, invoking the names of the demigods. So you start with Ganapati. Mahade Durga Ji. In this way, it starts invoking demigods first. Mantra, specific mantras to particular demigods. Very important. Krishna is telling this. On the name of Krishna consciousness, we avoid this. This is wrong. It's a wrong thing. When Lord Himself in Purushottam says how to perform in yagya, don't perform. Just Hari Nam, Hari Nam, Hari Bhakevalam, Kalau Nasti, 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 Gatil Nasti. Just chant the holy name, but be like. Haridas Chakur, completely absorbed in Hari Nam. For us, other all for a sadhaka, there are so many troubles which come. That is why yagya is yagya is recommended. Like doing going to a doctor is recommended. So yagya is also invoking the living gods and taking the help of the living gods, so that we can progress in devotion service. So while invoking, naturally the living god worship has to be done. Immediately we say this is karma kind. No, 
the consciousness is which kanda it is a bhakti kanda or karma kanda if the consciousness is to serve krishna every karma kanda is spiritual if the consciousness is just a ritual i'll be chanting also but it's just a ritualistic chanting then that becomes just a ritual another karma kanda if there is a motive behind devotion service again that is also karma kanda only but if the motive is to progress in devotion service to remove the kleshas then everything is spiritual now the demigods are also invoked dakshina rivar shata shatani prasai gratani vos devataha anukramah one demigod after another kalpah the specific scripture sankalpah specific purpose tantram a particular process is eva cha so sankalpa is done first what is the sankalpa where you are where you are situated from which vamsha you are coming jambu dwipe bharat varshe bharat khande in this way sankalpa bhut shuddhi sthan shuddhi there is a process the ram karke we cannot sit in the yagya bhut shuddhi now the children are taught in the school how to take vrata because the qualified brahmana how he becomes qualified by invoking first i am just a pavitram pavitro va sarva avastha gato piva dhaspare pundari taksham antarvaye shuchihi in whatever condition i am sitting let me always remember krishna that is the first line spoken by every karma kanda person Now just say we say everything is karma kind of consciousness behind that ritual that matters. You want dhana, dhanya, no problem. For the service of Krishna, spiritual. For one's own gratification, then that becomes material. Just because we hear some mantras, oh, this is karma kind. Just because we see a fire coming, oh, this is karma kind. No sacrifice, sacrificial altars, how to be worshipped. specific purposes specific processes so somebody wants some specific material materialistic purpose is there again specific processes are there dharma artha dharma artha kama now that kama refers to whether that kama is directing us to moksha and bhakti there it matters dharma artha has to be done because four purushartha if four purushartha is not then then panchama purushartha cannot be attained four purushartha for a sadhaka is important because sanskara is also important you cannot be without vivaha sanskara so these are the sanskaras where sacrifices are involved you cannot just go to the court and say, sign the paper and come out that also you can do but you cannot do that because there is not a purificatory process you may say i am chanting hari hari naam i'll just go to the court sign the paper and come that means we are going against the scriptures the vedas which has been given by krishna anybody can argue na hari naam is this for this kali yuga hari naam is a sankirtana yagya so for marriage also i can do like that why marriage also let all of us stay together only na and do whatever we want why shila prabhupad encouraged marriage vivaha ceremony at that time what prabhu pat told all of you sit without yagya sanskaras what to speak even in the diksha sanskara yagya is there yagya is there why hari naam is only given na hari naam is given take the hari naam and be peaceful why fire sacrifice is done because krishna takes all the things in the form of the blaze of the fire ियंटल sentimentalists cannot progress in devotional service see krishna in everything that is very much important when he sees krishna in everything he will not find any dosha in anything okay 
The emphasis is given as qualified brahmanas. Yes. So that is the work of a devotee. Qualified brahmana means he should accept Krishna. Vedeshta sarver ahame vedya vidanta kudve videvata. Krishna is present in everything. Vedas are given by him. That knowledge should be there. That is why preaching activities are very important. Brahmana should understand everything emanates from Krishna. Then he becomes a qualified Brahmana. When he is chanting Purush Sukta, he should understand that everything belongs to Krishna. Dvipada, Ekapada, everything belongs to Krishna. Okay, Aruna, read all the three verses 24, 25, 26, along with the translations and prophet. Yes. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Text 24. You, 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 what to do? One minute, you video you off. Then, huh? now read. Teshu Yagna Shapashavaha Savanas Pataya Kushaha Idam Chadeva Yag Deva Yagnam Kala Shroru Gudan Vitaha. Translation for performing sacrificial ceremonies, one requires sacrificial ingredients such as flowers, leaves, straw, along with the sacrificial altar and a suitable time, spring. Text 25. Vastu nyo shadayaha sneha rasaloham rudo jalam rujoyagnyo shi samani Chatur hotram cha sattama. Translation. Other requirements are utensils, grains, clarified butter, honey, gold, earth, water, the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, and Sama Veda, and four priests to perform sacrifice. Parpad Bashila Prabhupada, Prabhupada ki jai. To perform a sacrifice successfully, at least four expert priests are needed. One who can offer hota, one who can chant utgata, one who can kindle the sacrificial fire without the aid of separate fire, advaryu, and one who can supervise Brahma. Such sacrifices are, were conducted from the birth of Brahma, the first living creature, and were carried on till the reign of Maharaja Yudhishthira. But expert Brahmana priests are very rare in this age of corruption and quarrel. And therefore, in the present age, only the yajna of chanting the holy name of the Lord is recommended. The scriptures enjoin. <clears throat> Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nasti, Eva Nasti, Eva Nasti, Eva Gatir Anyatha. Text 26. Namadeyani mantrascha, dakshinascha vratani cha, devatanukrama kalpaha, sankalpas tantra meva cha. Translation. Other necessities include invoking the different names of the demigods by specific hymns and vows of re recompense in accordance with the particular scripture for specific purpose and by specific process. Purport. The whole process of offering sacrifice is under the category of fruitive action and such activities are extremely scientific. The main, they mainly depend on the process of vibrating sounds with a particular accent. It is a great science and due to being out of proper use for more than 4,000 years, for want of qualified brahmanas, such performances of sacrifice are no longer effective, nor are they recommended in this fallen age. Any such sacrifice undertaken in this age as a matter of show may simply be a cheating process by the clever priestly order. But such a show of sacrifices cannot be effective at any stage. Fruitive action is being carried on by the help of material science and to a little extent by gross material help. But the materialists await a still more subtle advancement in the process of vibrating sounds on which 
the vedic hymns are established gross material science cannot divert the real purpose of human life it can only increase the artificial needs of life without any solution to the problems of life therefore the way of materialistic life leads to the wrong type of human civilization since the ultimate aim of spiritual life is ultimate aim of life is spiritual realization the direct way of invoking the holy name of the lord as mentioned above is precisely recommended by lord chaitanya and people of modern age can easily take advantage of the simple process which is tenable for the condition of the complicated social nature hare krishna complicated social structure hare krishna here in order to make ingredients teshu for sacrifice i produce the ingredients from the lord's leem sambara samrutah so vanaspati everything anyhow it is belonging to krishna only by assembled i assembled means what is the meaning of assembled you create sub creation has been done understand it very nicely this verses Sambharaha Sambhrutaha. Krishna has given Kala Shakti, Jeeva Shakti, Padhartha Shakti. All these three Shaktis have come. Modes of material nature, everything. Now only limbs of Lord is seen. Then what did, what did Brahma do? He removed and started creating. Vanaspati has been created. Pashu has been created. Hmm? flowers have been created that means brahma ji did the sub creation and offer the same thing to lord like earth gives flower you are offering that flower to earth it has been given by earth but in a different form in the same way everything is belonging to him for performing the ceremony i sub created everything So twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-ninth verse speaks about it. That also we can continue it. Gatayo matayas chayva, rayas chitam samarpanam, rushavaya vairete sambhara samrutha mayan. So we can understand this these verses. Sambhara, mute your phone. Gataya ha to. Achieve Vishnu, that is ultimate goal. Mataiha worshiping the demi gods, prayas chitam, compensation, samarpanam, ultimate offering, purusha, the personality of God, ava avayehi from the parts of the Lord, etehi sambharaha the ingredients, samrutaha were arranged by whom? By me. Because. Narada says, "You have created everything." He says, "No, everything belongs to Krishna. I have done just done sambara arrangement, sambara samrutaha. Thus, I had to arrange all these necessary ingredients and paraphernalia of sacrifice from the personal bodily parts of the Lord by invocation of the demi gods names. The ultimate goal, Vishnu, was gradually attained, and thus compensation." And ultimate offering were complete. So why did I utter the demi gods names so that I can attain Krishna? You are taking the shelter of the demi gods to attain Krishna. What is the purpose of taking this shelter of Krishna to attain? What is the purpose of taking shelter of demi gods to attain Vishnu? And thus, prize chitta is done, and ultimate offering is done. Samarpan, prize chitta samarpan. That is why you say, "Na, uh, Om Agyana Timi Randasya." There is another verse. Is there? Agyani na maya dosha na teesham neeta anhare samastatam samastatam shesha shayla shikha amale. Om Agyani na Agyani na. I don't know. I was just Agyana. In this way, prize system is done. First, finding one soul point. Agyani na samastatam samastatam. So samastatam. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I don't know. So, 
Arula, continue. Hare Krishna. Continue. Yeah. Good. Continue, continue. Text 27. Gatayo matayas chaiva prayas chittam samarpanam purushavaya vairete sambhara sambhratamaya. Translation. Thus I had to arrange all these necessary ingredients and paraphernalia of sacrifice from the personal bodily parts of the personality of Godhead by invocation of the demigods, names the ultimate goal Vishnu was gradually attained and thus compensation and ultimate offering was complete. Purport. In this verse, special stress is given to the person of the Supreme Lord and not to his impersonal Brahma Jyoti as being the source of all supplies. Narayana, the Supreme Lord, is the goal of sacrificial results and therefore the Vedic hymns are ultimately meant for Attaining this goal, human life is thus made successful by pleasing Narayana and getting entrance into the direct association of Narayana in the spiritual kingdom of Vaikuntha. Hare Krishna. Next Iti Sambrata Sambhara Purushavaya Vairaham Iti Tameva Purusham Yagye Taineva Te Naiva Yajamishwaram Iti Sambrata Sambhara Purushavaya Vairaham Tameva Purusham Yagyam Te Naiva Yajamishwaram Iti Sambha Iti Sambrata Sambhara what did I do? I collected everything. Purushaha avaya vaihi from the parts of the Lord. Aham, I, Tameva, offered to him only. Why he is the enjoyer. Purusham yagyam is the enjoyer of the sacrifice. Tena eva. In this way, with all these things, ayajam ishwaram. I worship the supreme controller. Took from him only and gave it to him. <laughs> what a wonderful statement this. Took from him, like, uh, like you take money from your parents, go and give it, go and buy something, make a different form, and give it to your parents. Took from parents only everything, and while giving, there is ahankara when it comes. You know, I have given to my parents. Parents can say, "You fool! I gave you the intelligence." Sometimes the children have a pride. No, I sustain my parents. I give money to my parents. So, it's a foolishness to give that money that Samarkha has been given by your parents only. They made you capable to earn. You took from them in giving to them. There, if the ahankara comes, kartaham abhijanati, if he understands that I am the karta, Gone. He can never understand Krishna. I am taking from him and offering to him. You know, I only I dress very nicely. You know, when Lord is dressed, I am taking from him and giving to him. What's so big? I am doing. That is how see Brahma ji how humble is. How humble. So Brahma ji says, Oh Narda, I am not the creator. I just took from him, made some other forms and given to him. Assembling, like you assemble the parts of the car. What a person does, you know how the car is made? There is a company which makes parts. There is another company which assembles the part and then presents Maruti Suzuki. But is Maruti Suzuki making the parts? Parts are made somewhere else. Every company, this is only the rule. Parts will be made somebody somewhere else. Assembling the parts and giving the form and presenting it. But getting the Shreya, there is a problem. So while we are also doing the same thing. Assembling, presenting, taking the credit. I am everything. As I, things will go, na, then only we can progress. Okay. 
बिंदु माता जी रीड बिंदु यस बिंदु माधव ट्रांसलेशन दस आई क्रिएटेड द इनग्रीडियंट एंड पैराफेलिया फॉर ऑफरिंग सैक्रिफाइस आउट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड the enjoyer of the sacrifice and i perform the sacrifice to satisfy the lord people in general purport people in general are always anxious to have peace of mind or peace in the world but they do not know how to achieve such a standard of peace in the world such peace in the world is ob obtainable by performance of sacrifice and by practice of austerity In the Bhagavad Gita 5.29, the following prescription is recommended: Bhukta Ram Yagya Tapsam Sarva Loka Maheshwaram Surdam Sarva Bhuta Nam Gyatva Amam Shanti Mrityati. The karma yogis know that the supreme Lord is the factual enjoyer and the maintainer of all sacrifices and the austere life. They also know that the Lord is the ultimate proprietor. of all the planets and is the factual friend of all living entities such knowledge gradually converts the karma yogis into pure devotees of the lord through the association of unalloyed devotees and thus they are able to liberate thus they are able to be liberated from material bondage brahma the original living being within the material world taught us the way of sacrifice the word sacrifice suggests dedication of one's own interest for satisfaction of a second person that is the way of all activities every man is engaged in sacrificing his interest for others either in the form of family society community country or the entire human society but perfection of such sacrifices attain when they are perform for the sake of the supreme person the lord because the lord is the proprietor of everything because the lord is the friend of all living creatures and because he is the maintainer of the performer of sacrifice as well as the supplier of the ingredients of sacrifice it is he only no one else who should be satisfied by all sacrifices the whole world is engaged in sacrificing energy for advancement of learning social upliftment economic development and plans for total improvement of the human condition but no one is interested in sacrificing for the sake of the lord as it is advised in the bhagavad gita therefore there is no peace in the world if men at all want peace in the world they must practice sacrifice in the interest of the supreme proprietor and friend of all hari krishna mataji hmm 29 see oh, what prabhupada has written this see the statements if men at all want peace in the world they must practice sacrifice in the interest of the supreme proprietor and friend of all hari ram sankirtan संस्कार संस्कृत संस्कार यज्ञ ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर डन फॉर व्हाट फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ एवरीवन दैट इज हाउ द डिवोटी इज ऑलवेज फ्रेंड ऑफ एवरीवन एंड आल्सो शोइंग टू एवरीवन कृष्णा इज द सुप्रीम फ्रेंड ऑफ एवरीवन ततस्ते भ्रातर इवे इमे प्रजानां पतयो निव पतयो नव आयजन व्यक्तम अव्यक्तम पुरुषम सुसमायता हम्म ततस्ते आफ्टर दैट ततः भ्रात्रह इमे प्रजानम नव आयजन सो नाइन ब्रदर्स यू आर नाइन ब्रदर्स हु आर द मास्टर्स ऑफ द लिविंग क्रीचर्स प्रजापतिस दे ऑल वर बोर्न अव्यक्तम व्यक्तम अव्यक्तम पुरुषम सुसमाहिता है सो व्हाई दे डिड व्हाई दे व्हाई दे वर बोर्न 
they all were born who are the masters after your the nine brothers who are the masters of the living creatures prajapatis they are born to perform the sacrifice with proper rituals to whom to sat for whom for satisfying the supreme personality god who is abhyaktam also vyaktam also so the purpose of sacrifice is to satisfy vishnu that is the purpose of sacrifice okay ज्ञानदीप प्रभु रीड हरे कृष्णा वाद जी दनवर प्रणाम ततस्त्रे भ्रातर इमे प्रजा नाम पतयो नव जन व्यक्तम अव्यक्तम पुरुषम सुसाम हिता ट्रांसलेशन माय डियर सन देयर आफ्टर योर नाइन ब्रदर्स हु आर द मास्टर्स ऑफ लिविंग क्रिएचर्स परफॉर्म द सैक्रिफाइस विद प्रॉपर रिचुअल्स टू सेटिस्फाई बोथ द manifested and non manifested personalities parpad bhai sila prabhupad sila prabhupad ki jai the manifested personalities are the demigods like the ruler of the heavenly kingdom indra and his associates and the non manifested personality is the lord himself the manifested personalities are mundane controllers of the material affairs whereas the non manifested personality of god at is the transcendental beyond the range of the material atmosphere in this age of kali the manif manifested demigods are also not to be seen for space travel has completely stopped so both the powerful demigods and the supreme personality of godhead are non manifested to the covered eyes of the modern man modern men want to see everything with their eyes although they are not sufficiently qualified consequently they disbelieve in the existence of the demigods or of the supreme god they should see through the pages of authentic scriptures and should not simply believe uh, their unqualified eyes even in these days god can also be seen by qualified eyes tinged with ointment of the love of god premanjal chitra bhakti vilochana isn't it the same words tatascha manavakale मनुष्य <laughs> So this was just to please the Lord. You have this in third chapter also. I created the set of demi gods. Remember, which is the verse in Bhagavad Gita? Open Bhagavad Gita. Which is the verse in Bhagavad Gita which speaks that I have created the set of men, the set of demi gods. This is the verse. Open. Don't forget. You should know to link the verses also. In the beginning of creation, three point ten. Saha yakya praja sushtva puro vacha praja pati ane na prasavishvadham eshas postishta kamadu. In the beginning, the Lord of creation set forth generations of men demigods along with the sacrifices for Vishnu, blessing them. Be thou happy. So everything is done. for the satisfaction of vishnu set of generations of men generations of demigods all have appeared three point ten speaks this here also the same thing has been given this is for the pleasure of krishna bade prabhu jai mohan prabhu join late prabhu should be time time eight o'clock the class starts hare krishna i just came up. okay read You'll miss important things. So many important verses are there. Okay, read. Do one thing. You go. If you are, if you don't miss the connectivity. Arunam Mata Ji, you read. Mute your phone, Prabhu. Mute your phone. Arunam Ji. Hare Krishna. Text thirty. Tatas chamana va kalle ijire rishayo pare pitaro vibhuda daitya. मनुष्या क्रतुर 
Kratubir Vibhum. Translation, thereafter the Manus, the father of mankind, the great sages, the forefathers, the learned scholars, the daityas, and mankind perform sacrifices meant to please the Supreme Lord. Purpur by Srila Prabhupada. The daityas are devotees of the demigods because they want to derive the greatest possible material facilities from them. The devotees of the Lord are ekanishta or absolutely attached to the devotional service of the Lord. Therefore, they have practically no time to seek the benefits of material facilities. Because of their realization of the spiritual identity, they are more concerned with spiritual emancipation than with material comforts. Hare yes. Krishna. So what is the purpose of their sacrifice? To have more spiritual emancipation. What is the purpose of the uh, materialistic person when he performs the sacrifices more material comforts? So here ends what, what are the ingredients which has been taken that is also there. How it all has happened, the whole thing. How the Sambaraha Sambrataha happens that has been given. Okay. Everything emanates from him. At that time, I did not find anything. I found the limbs of the Lord. From there, I started assembling my ingredients and giving it the shapes. Any doubts you can ask? Mataji, uh, mm -hmm. In text 25, they are saying other requirements are utensils, grains, clarified butter, honey, gold, earth, water, the Rigveda, Yajurveda, Samaveda. Uh, see, when we see Yajna, generally uh, Yajurveda is separate Yajna, Samaveda is separate Yajna, Rigveda is separate Mantras, Yajna. Mantras are given from all the Yajnas. There will be a Yajurvedi Brahmana who may be performing. It is not Yajurveda Brahma, Yajurveda Yajna, Rigveda. All the Vedas, there are verses which has been taken. Okay. Huh. All the three Vedas are used for his purpose only. Okay. Means mantras are extracted from all the three Vedas for any particular Yajna. That way. There is specific purpose, specific mantras. Huh. So the Brahmanas mm -hmm. will be expert in all these uh, Vedas. He they should be. be expert in, a he he should be. Uh -huh. That is why Brahmanas should be trained in the Gurukul. Brahmanas doesn't just come like that. Brahmanas have to be trained in the Gurukul for performing Vedic sacrifice. So there are two types of sacrifice. One is Vedic sacrifice, which only a qualified Brahmana trained in these Vedas can only do. Can only do. Others are created Brahmanas. Like in our ISKCON, we are created. There are created Brahmanas who have no pre qualifications to perform Vedic Yajnas. Yes, but they can do Vaishnava Yajnas. Like Narsima Yajna. Chant all the uh, Pranam Mantra, do Swaha. That is Narsima Yajna, Sudarshan Yajna. Vaishnava Yajnas only uh, devotee can do. Even if he is not having the pre qualification of studying the Vedas. But sanskara yajnas they cannot. If they try to do then the whole sanskara is not possible. It is not correct. Like in one of the marriage ceremony I went. You know what was the mantra just chanted from Bhagavatam? Then Cheto Darpadam. But that is not for the Viva sanskara. For everything there is a specific purpose, specific purpose. And special mantras are there. Why we are rejecting that? Just because we are Krishna conscious, we are in the Krishna conscious moment. In the marriage ceremony, there are invocations which is done for Parvati, Durga, that is Durga Ji. Even Rukmini went and prayed Durga Ji. Na? Because marriage institution itself is nothing spiritual in it. We are invoking the demigods so that you get the qualification to worship Krishna. And that is how proper way Shiva is worshipped. Ganapati, Ganapati worship starts. But if you don't do all these things, we are actually becoming non-Vedic. We should not be non-Vedic. Non-Vedic means no sanskaras. Sanskaras cannot be done 
Bhagavatam verses are not for the sanskaras. Bhagavatam verses are for attaining the Prema Pumartho Mahan. Prema for Krishna. Any other doubt? <laughs> Very good.